you know, I was listening to Brian Cox recently, and he said something about an anomaly that really got me thinking. Um, you know, when someone like him flags something like that, well, you kind of got to pay attention. Right. When a leading physicist expresses real concern, it might mean we're about to encounter something really new. Yeah. And in this case, it looks like quantum computers might have picked up something moving faster than light. Faster than light. Yes. Sounds crazy, right? But we've got some excerpts here detailing this experiment, and it's... Uh, well, it's pretty mind-bending stuff. So we're looking at a document about this potential breakthrough and what it could mean, huh? Exactly. And today, you and I are going to dive into these excerpts to try and wrap our heads around this discovery. Sounds good. What could this mean for physics, for time, for everything, really? Well, first, we have to try to grasp what this anomaly actually is and then explore what it might mean. Right. Okay. Got it. Let's start with the basics. Okay. Speed limits in the universe. All right. We always hear about the speed of light. But why is that speed so important? It's important because Einstein's theory of relativity basically says that the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit, right? Okay. It's the cosmic speed limit for anything with mass. So anything with, like, substance can't go faster than light. Right. If it did, it would totally break how we understand cause and effect. So it's not just a suggestion. It's, like, a fundamental rule. It really is. Okay, but what about things without mass? Ah, now that's interesting. Yeah. Because particles like photons, the basic units of light, they have no mass, so they travel at that speed. They have to. Yeah, it's kind of built into the fabric of space and time itself. Space time. Right. Okay, so that's the rule, right? Everything we know with mass has to follow this speed limit. Right. So what happened in this experiment? What did they see that's making everyone freak out? Well, the document talks about an experiment they did with a quantum computer operating at super low temperatures, like near absolute zero. Oh, wow. And they saw this weird fluctuation in the system. So quantum computers doing their quantum thing. Yeah, but this fluctuation, this one appeared to be moving faster than light. No way. Yeah, the scientists obviously didn't believe it at first. You'd think it was a mistake. Oh, but... yeah, they thought it was an equipment error or just bad data. Right, because that kind of result just throws everything out the window. It really does. But the thing is, they ran the tests again and again, different conditions, same result. Really? Yep. Something really strange was going on in that quantum computer. Faster than light. <laughs> That's where things get a little sci-fi, right? A little bit, yeah. And then there's this mention of tachyons. Tachyons, yeah. Uh, what are those exactly? Okay, so tachyons are theoretical particles. We haven't actually found them yet. Okay. But they're thought to have some really bizarre properties. Okay. Like normal matter, it speeds up when it gains energy, right? Right. But tachyons are the opposite. They get faster as they lose energy. So the less energy they have, the faster they go. Exactly. And they have a lower limit too, the speed of light. Huh. So they're like the opposite of everything we know about how things move. In a way, yeah. And this is where it gets even more strange because... Okay. They would always be moving faster than light, right? Right. So they wouldn't experience time like we do at all. So their timeline would be, what, backwards? Potentially. Yeah, the idea is they could send information back in time. Whoa, okay. So, so the big question is, did those scientists accidentally create something that acts like a tachyon? Exactly. Did they open a window for information to flow from the future? Or maybe even to the future? That's heavy stuff. So this name, Tashan Godwave Generator, that's in the excerpts. Hmm. Is that a real scientific term? Not really. The document uses it more as a descriptive term, you know? Oh, okay. Because we just don't have the language for this yet. It's like a placeholder for something we can't quite explain yet. Exactly. And the document talks about something even stranger oh, yeah. than faster than light movement. What's that? The computer seemed to respond to commands before they were given. Hold on, what? Yeah, like it knew what the scientists were going to do before they did it. How is that even possible? Well, the document doesn't really have an answer for that. So this is completely beyond our current physics. Seems like it. So maybe, maybe the computer was accessing information from the future somehow. Through these Tassions. Maybe. We just don't know. That would be wild. It would. You know someone must have noticed this, right? Mm hmm Governments, big tech companies, they must be all over this. Oh, absolutely. Something this big. They'd be very interested. Especially DARPA, NASA, places like that. Right. And you can bet Google and IBM are watching, too. They're all investing heavily in quantum computing, right? Yeah. The potential is huge, so they're definitely keeping tabs on anything this groundbreaking. Makes you wonder if they're already ahead of what they're telling us. Oh, there's probably a lot going on behind closed doors. Yeah. Classified experiments, black budgets, the whole nine yards. 
The document even wonders if those strange signals and space-time fluctuations we've seen might be linked to secret experiments. And what if we're already experiencing the effects of these, um, what was it? Taconic disturbances. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Kind of creepy to think our reality could be influenced by something messing with time. It is a disturbing thought. What if advanced civilizations or even future humans are trying to contact us this way? Like sending messages through these quantum anomalies. Maybe, it's possible. So is this faster than light thing just an accident? Or a deliberate message. We don't know. It's kind of scary to think that once information starts leaking through time, there's no way to contain it. Right. What happens when those ripples reach us in the present? And Stephen Hawking warned about this, right? Yeah. He said time travel could be really dangerous. Cause paradoxes, <laughs> even destroy the universe. It could, he thought it could break causality completely. That's terrifying. It is. And even if we could manipulate time, would we even know how to handle it? That's the question, isn't it? Do we have the wisdom to use that kind of power? Especially governments. You know, they love their secrets. Oh, yeah. They keep things under wraps all the time, especially big discoveries. Imagine the secrets they'd keep about time travel. Oh, it would be the biggest secret of all time. And imagine what they could do. Control elections, predict the stock market. The power would be unbelievable. The document mentions those anomalies in the stock market. Maybe that's it, you know? Maybe it's possible if they could predict or even slightly influence the future, think of the advantage they would have. It's disturbing to think about what if they've been using this tech for who knows how long. And that's just governments. What about corporations? Imagine what they could do with that kind of power. It's a whole other level of conspiracy theory. It is, but it's not impossible, right? True. And then the document brings up something else. What's that? Paranormal activity. Okay. It suggests there might be a connection between Tashians and, you know, Ghosts, UFOs, that kind of stuff. Ah, uh, so we're going into the really strange stuff now. Yeah, but it's interesting to think about, right? It is. So how do Tashians and ghosts connect? Well, the idea is that maybe these signals from the future or different points in time are causing these strange experiences. Like echoes from other timelines bleeding into ours. Exactly. Like maybe deja vu is just a glimpse of a slightly different timeline. That's a cool way to look at it. It is. And then there's the question of ancient civilizations. What about them? The document wonders if maybe they encountered these temporal disturbances too. Interesting. Maybe they couldn't handle it. Maybe that's why some of them just vanished. You mean they stumbled onto something they didn't understand and it wiped them out? That's the idea. What if they messed with time and it backfired? It's definitely something to think about. It is, but it all comes back to this one question. Yeah. If we are seeing these faster-than-light fluctuations, what's causing them? What's on the other side? That's the biggest mystery of all. Is it an advanced intelligence? Are they sending us warnings? Trying to help us? Or control us? Or maybe it's us sending messages back from the future. Wow, to warn ourselves about something. Maybe. The document suggests all kinds of possibilities. Oh, it does. It really gets you thinking. And what if this isn't just observation? What if it's a doorway? A doorway? To what? We don't know. Something else. Something beyond our understanding. That's pretty creepy. It is. And this whole thing about the Mandela effect. Oh, what? You know, those shared false memories people have. Oh. Like... What if that's evidence of the timeline being rewritten? So our memories are changing because the past is changing. Yeah, it's a unsettling thought. It is. Like maybe some historical events have already been changed and we don't even realize it. So time isn't a straight line. It's more like... A tapestry with all these threads woven together. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. And this quantum computer experiment, maybe it's the first sign that we're figuring out how to change those threads. To rewrite reality itself. And you could bet governments and corporations are all over this. DARPA, CERN, NASA, they must have whole departments dedicated to this kind of research. Secret labs, billions of dollars, trying to unlock the secrets of time. And they'd never tell us, not until they had it all figured out. So those weird stock market crashes, <clears throat> those sudden political upheavals. Maybe that's all part of it, information leaking back from the future. Or deliberate manipulation. We may never know. It's a lot to process. It really is. This one experiment has opened up a whole can of worms. And we may just be at the beginning. Yeah, we've peeked behind the curtain, and what we've seen is something that could change everything. It makes you question everything you thought you knew about time, about reality, about the universe itself. It really does. So next time something strange happens, something you can't explain, maybe take a second and ask yourself, is this just a random event 
Or is it something more? Is there a deeper meaning, a hidden connection to something beyond our current understanding? We may never have all the answers, but it's definitely worth asking the questions. It is. It really is. So keep those questions in mind. And until next time, stay curious. And keep an open mind. And maybe a little bit skeptical, too. You never know what's lurking out there in the vastness of time and space. That's for sure. See that?